a quick video to show you how to do the external style sheets uh, for your website. So if you're designing a website, um, you're going to be able to do that now um, with this video. So the first thing I want to have you do is I want to have you create a new file. Um, we talked about Node++. Plus, plus, plus. Um, so uh, the link is going to be in the description of this video as well. So but um, what you want to do is you want to create a new document and you want to save it. Uh, so save it as... Let's save it as um, style.css. Right? Since it's going to be in the desktop, um, it's pretty much, you know, you're going to be able to have the same, you're going to be able to connect it to it. Um, so we're going to put it, we're going to actually put that in, in the head area of the website. Also, just so you know, we do want to put um, the link ref, which is right here. Link REL style sheet. This text right here. So make sure you put that text in there. Copy that, and then um, instead of my style, I usually call this. I call this style. So we're just gonna put style. That's CSS. So we're gonna take the my style. Well, that's basically all that you're gonna need to connect um, a, an HTML document to a CSS uh, document. So. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take all the CSS out of this website and I'm going to put it in the external CSS file. So you see over here from style to style closing, I'm going to cut that out, out of there and see how the page looks so much different now that we took that um, the, the, the style sheet out of the website. But if we save it, I'm going to show you the power of that. See? Notice how I went back to um, to the actual uh, the text that I, that I spoke about in the previous video, right? That's because it doesn't have any CSS anymore. The CSS is going to be in this file, and there's nothing in this document over here. But now we go back here, and we paste the style. We take the style out of there. This, this style closing in the beginning, and that's your CSS. We're going to save that. I'm going to refresh this page and look how it went back to the settings that it had originally because it knows it, it, it actually imported that information from the CSS uh, file from the style of CSS and um, it uh, you know it sent it to the HTML and it gave us this beautiful design not the most beautiful one but you know what I mean so um, so that's pretty much it that's all you have to do so you'll go in you'll go and put make sure you put this in the head Make sure that you put it on, the, on the, the first thing in your header because this this has to open and this this link has to go and grab that information and make it look like this. Otherwise, if it doesn't have this, um, what happens is it just basically doesn't uh, doesn't doesn't really give you anything. And I'll show you how that works. If, if, say that I took this off, right? Save it and uh, there's nothing. I can't see. If we paste it again to where it was and we save it. It goes back to its original design. That's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, be sure to um, be sure to leave me leave, leave a comment on this in, on the bottom of this video. Make sure to follow us here. I'm also going to put a, my Twitter link here. So if you do want to have a, if you have a question you want to ask me personally on Twitter, um, you can definitely do that. So signing off. This is Elias. Take care, everybody.